And are we live? Yes, we are. We have a couple more wind-ups. This one's called Sparkling Robot. Anything on the box shows where to insert the key, shows the sparks, made in Hong Kong. It uh, even comes with instructions telling you how to put the key in to wind it up. And apparently, some version of this toy was shipped with an iron bar in the legs that you're supposed to remove first. Now this one doesn't have that iron bar, but it does have the plastic removable key. Already wound up some, I guess. I picked it up. Let's wind it up some more. Oh, still a good sparker. Just walking right along. That's pretty cool for vintage. What's it have on the back? It's uh, made in Hong Kong. Get the lighting right. It's got kind of a paper decal plus the tinted plastic. Of course, the sparking is mainly coming out right there. I do like the translucent eyes. In a dark room, we'd probably see the sparking happening up there, too. Clearly, clearly the whole thing should fit in the box. Still running. Key in there, get the instructions in there. Now he's in his box. All right, now look at this guy. It's got a plastic base, got a weird top thing, mechanical walking robot, asteroids. It's got wheels on the bottom. It says something on the back here. Let me take a look, see if I can read it. Tareel Industries, made in Japan. Tareel. Ooh. Oh, it's a mover. Compared to the ones we've been looking at recently, this guy moves right along. Look at those guns. And when it's moving, it would slow the guns down so you could really see them moving in and out. It's actually pretty cool when it's moving slow. And you can actually see them moving in and out. I like that. That's a cool one. It's pretty different. 